Welcome to this IronCAD video on the use of configurations. We're going to talk a little bit about the purposes of creation of uh, configurations, uh, how to uh, create them, the different types, uh, how to use them with external links, uh, how to use them with uh, drawings and uh, with bill of materials. So uh, just uh, to get started, I'm going to bring out a few shapes just to um, you know illustrate a, a, some simple cases of, of, of how and, and why you would use configurations. I'll drop out a, a couple pieces here and so basically we've got a couple parts in the scene and you may want to control some different things as far as what is seen and, and what is not um, and then what position uh, parts are in so the purpose of configurations would be one to track uh, whether a part is suppressed or unsuppressed track whether shapes are suppressed or unsuppressed, and then track the position of parts. So I'm going to come down here to the very lower right hand corner and click on configurations. And you can see I hit create to start with. And I'm going to start with a exploded um, configuration. And I'm going to just use this explode. I'm going to kind of work my way up from the bottom to the top. So the exploded configuration is great for free positional movement. I'm going to click OK, click Close. Now I can select this pin here, use the try ball and just pull it up and, and out. And, and that's all I need to do. Now I can come down here to my uh, configuration selector, go back to default, and the parts are together. Go back to exploded view, and the parts are apart. So I'm going to go back to def default. Now you can also go ahead and, and change configurations to control suppression of parts or shapes. So I'm going to select configurations again and I'm going to create a couple this time. Uh, this is I'm going to go uh, this will be just my block and we're going to and for this we're just going to uh, leave all these uh, options blank because uh, with all of them blank it's only going to uh, affect the suppression of, of parts. And then I'm going to go ahead and create another one I'm going to call it block without hole. And this one I'm going to turn on track suppression for IntelliShapes. And when I do that, it gives me a little warning saying that this will uh, increase uh, part regeneration. But I'm going to say OK, and I'm fine with that. So I'm going to hit OK. So I'll hit on block and I'll hit apply. So now I can just right click on the pin and suppress that. And now again, if I go back to default, all the parts are shown. If I go to block, then the uh, pin is gone and just the block is there. If I go to block without hole, I can also suppress the part, but I can also go down and suppress the feature as well, the hole. I'll suppress that. So now I've got a block without hole. I go back to default, everything's there. I can go to block and it's just the block by itself with the hole. And then I can go to block without hole and it's just the block, uh, of course, without the hole. And again, I can, I can even go back to exploded view, so all these are, are tog toggleable. Um, so basically, if I uh, save this now, which I will go ahead and do, I can make a drawing and use those configurations in the drawing. So I'm going to come in here, use a seat size template, make a, a simple uh, set of drawings. So first of all, I'm going to start with a general view because I want the first sheet to have a general view of my exploded configuration. So I can pick exploded view for my configuration. The preview shows it. I hit OK and I get a nice uh, exploded view there. I'll go ahead and make a new sheet and this time I want to make a drawing of just the block. So I'm going to do some standard views here and then I'm going to select the uh, block uh, configuration and you can see I get you know exactly what I want just the block you know with the hole of course so I get that drawing and I'm going to do a final sheet maybe this is the sheet of uh, a part before it was machined before the hole was drilled into it so I'll do a standard view there and this time I'm going to pick a block without hole and uh, I can make my views there so all this can be done and the nice thing about it is if the configurations are updated if any of the parts are updated you know all your uh, drawings will update as well so you have that that nice ability there the other thing you can do is um, 
you know you can set up a bill of materials so maybe like on this sheet I want to create a bill of materials and I want my configuration to be the block because I don't want the pin to show up in my bill of materials so now I just get one item which is the block I didn't put any part number description uh, uh, yet but I can do that but basically if I came back in and went back to the properties of that I can toggle the configuration and say default and it'll get all the items there so I get my second item which would be the pin so the, the configurations give you a lot of flexibility on how to set up your scene and how you can control drawings. And you can do all this you know, within a single scene environment. So this would kind of alleviate the need to have separate uh, files for every part you know, for making drawings and stuff. Of course you can do that if you want, but uh, that's all optional. Uh, another thing that can be done with the external links, uh, with uh, configurations and external links, is you can control at each level what configuration is used. So if you take a look at this assembly I have, I, I have some uh, some different configurations. I have the without nuts, I can apply that and the hit close. The uh, the nuts have been removed here. As I zoom in you can see the, the nuts are gone. Now the, uh, the studs here are uh, in another assembly, this assembly 80, and you can see this is uh, externally linked to another file and that file contains some configuration. So I can uh, right click on the page icon, click change configuration, and say without bolts, and hit OK, and now the bolts disappear. And that took uh, place for the entire assembly. So you can control these at multiple levels uh, with your external links. So uh, just to sum it up, you, know, you can control uh, part suppression, uh, IntelliShape feature suppression, and then part position. And uh, that concludes this uh, video on IronCAD configurations. Thank you.